Hey folks and welcome. If you're checking out this video, it probably means you're wanting to know more about the uh, educational videos that I'm doing. So good news, uh, I can I can give more info on that. Probably one of the first questions you've got might be, uh, <laughs> who, who on earth am I and why am I qualified to be uh, teaching anyone game dev education? So I can I can answer that. Um, so I am I am Ian McManus. I've been programming for almost thirty years now. Um, yeah, it'd be nearly thirty years. I have worked in the games industry for nearly two decades. I've worked on some fairly large scale games, so things like Medieval Two, Total War, uh, The Bureau, and also Bioshock Infinite. I have worked on some mobile apps, and I've worked on a lot of uh, small games, most of those solo ones. I've released a lot of really small uh, solo games and there'd be ones that do a range of different things. Probably the most ridiculous uh, was one that is a MMO screensaver. Um, I've got another similarly ridiculous one in the works. Uh, so make a lot of small games. Uh, in terms of teaching, I was a teacher at a tertiary institute for six and a half years. So a lot of that as a senior lecturer and as a department head, I developed uh, modules. So I wrote particular subjects, I developed content for them, and I taught subjects to people at all different stages of their degree, from students in their very first uh, teaching trimester with us to students at the very end of their studies. Um, so a lot of areas there. My, my background has primarily been on the programming side, in particular artificial intelligence, AI programming. Um, but I've also worked on a lot of other areas. Um, so worked in different areas of programming and also developing other related things there for games as well. So games, making games and teaching people how to make games are two things that I really love doing. Um, I, I genuinely so much enjoy uh, being able to do that. And that's why I'm doing these series. So the uh, towards the end of May, of 2021, I actually left my full-time job. And so what I'm doing now is independent development and also uh, doing these teaching videos. And my goal with this is regardless of where you're at with learning game development, for there to be stuff that is useful for you. So if you're at the very beginning stages, if you're just getting started or wanting to get started with learning game development, then I've got you covered. So I'll be producing a set of videos. The, the main initial core of ones are going to be ones called Developer Essentials. These are ones that are focused at people who are wanting to learn how to develop games. So they're going to teach you the fundamental skills of getting up to speed with Unity, of working with the c -sharp programming language, and how to do a lot of the key essential things there in Unity for being able to make a game. The goal with that series is to get you to the point where you are able to be making your own games independently. That's the goal. Now, alongside that, periodically, I'm also going to be doing videos that are, I'm calling them developer deep dives. So they'll assume that people are already comfortable with programming and they will dive into specific areas and dive into them deeper. So those are about broadening your skill set and giving you an understanding and an idea about things that you might not normally you know, be aware of and that you could make a game without, but knowing them will allow you to make a better game and make it more easily. So that'll be the deep dives. Uh, so those will be fairly regularly, um, looking at probably every couple of weeks for the deep dives, whereas the developer essentials are going to be, there'll be ones coming out every week with that. Every so often those deep dives are actually going to be an advanced deep dive. So whereas the deep dives are aimed at sort of more intermediate level of experience, the advanced deep dives are aimed at people who are uh, more experienced again and are really wanting to get into some very meaty areas. So those advanced deep dives are going to focus more so on areas that are, um, you know, one areas that are really within my core skill set, so things like procedural generation, developing AI systems, there'll be a chance to really go into detail on, okay, how do we design these systems? How do we build them? How do we make them run well? How do we make them scale? Those are the kinds of things we're going to be looking at in those. 
So the deep dives and advanced deep dives, those are still ones where even if you're learning, might be cool to check out because they'll give you ideas of things that you can be doing that you didn't know were there and they give you things that you can build towards. In particular, those deep dives being pitched at an intermediate level, there will be parts there that you'll be able to absolutely dive in and make use of. So do check those out. Uh, and what's going to happen is these developer essentials, I will eventually run out of things that can be covered there. Uh, and so I've got that covered. There'll be developer toolkit ones will then progressively, those will come in over time and those will assume a starting knowledge and will actually just dive into particular areas. So they'll kind of be pitched a little bit between a beginner level and a uh, deep dive level. So beginner and intermediate level is they'll be sitting in between there. So those are going to be the things that I'll be doing. Uh, if you are wanting to try and find ways to help support doing this, then you know, subscribing, liking the videos is going to be a big help. Um, it's something where if you've got feedback or questions, checking in comments on the videos as well, really appreciated. We'd love to have folks doing that. If you're looking for further ways to support, I have set up a Patreon. And so how the Patreon is going to work is that people will be able to get earlier access to the videos. So it'll vary a little bit depending upon where I'm at schedule wise, but it's usually going to be one to two weeks at least beforehand. Um, people will have access to the videos. In some of the later tiers, then I'll be introducing things like being able to make uh, suggestions of topic areas or vote on topic areas. The solo games I'm doing for people in the top tier there in the, the Patreon, those solo games, I'm going to be uh, typically making those available for free for people in that top tier of Patreon there as well. So if you're looking for ways of supporting, then those are, those are some options there. But the key thing is, is dive in and, and get stuck into the videos. Uh, the goal with this really is to be in teaching more people how to make games. I want more people to know how to make games and more people to then be making games because I, I, I love getting to see cool, awesome new games. I want to see more of them and I love helping people make more of them. So please uh, dive in, start making things. And if you do make things, then share them. Let me, you know, shoot me a link to them. I'd love to get to see things that folks are making. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be a really exciting time. Thanks, folks.